Right, in this video I'm going to talk to you about memory. And there are a couple of different issues in memory you need to be aware of. The two main ones are RAM versus ROM, which I'm not going to cover just yet. And the other one is cache, RAM, and virtual memory. And that's the one I'm going to tackle first. Okay? Um, so those are the two issues we're going, to we're going to cover. Before we do either of those though, the very first thing about memory is to make a very important distinction that a lot of people get wrong and that is that memory is not storage. Okay, Your memory inside your computer is not the same thing as where you store your files. Storage is where you save things that you want to be able to get to later. Files, programs, things like that, things you put on a hard disk, things you put on a CD, that's storage. Memory is much more short term, it's much more temporary, it's the things that you're working with right now. So a typical example of a question about what's the purpose of main memory in your system, um, it is to store currently running programs it's also used to store um, currently used data okay so let's imagine we've got a computer system in our computer system we've got a processor this is the thing that does all the processing we have our main memory that's this thing here, this is a stick of RAM and we have your hard drive that's probably not going to fit on my whiteboard um, and that's got all your programs and files and things on okay and what happens is I want to load up uh, a word processor so what we do is I tell my computer somehow I want to load a word processor and what the processor does is it goes off to the hard drive and it says I need the instructions for how to run the word processor and they get sent to the processor and the process is right now I want to put those instructions into my main memory so I can use it okay so we start with the instructions here we say right go get the instructions for the word processor bring them to me and then I will put them in the main memory so that I can use them and the fact that everything goes through the process is very important but the the thing in terms of memory we're worried about is this is a permanent slow storage this is short-term temporary storage so this is where the currently used programs live and it's where the currently used data lives. So when you're typing in your word process document and somebody plugs, unplugs the computer, because it's stored on your memory, your main memory, it gets wiped, it disappears because when you unplug the power, the main memory empties itself and so your work's gone. And that's why if you don't save your work regularly, you risk losing it if your computer crashes. Okay, so that's kind of what, what memory is. Um, and so that, those two answers there, store currently running programs, store currently used data, are really, really important in terms of understanding what memory is for. And now we know what memory is for, we have to realise it comes in three main forms. Okay, and the three main forms are the cache, the RAM or the main memory, and virtual memory just to keep things consistent this is cache memory okay so we've got cache memory main memory and virtual memory okay and physically this is where they are the cache memory lives on the processor the main memory lives on that stick and the virtual memory lives on that hard drive okay and they all do exactly the same job, they do it in very slightly different ways, but they do exactly precisely the same job which is to store your currently running programs in your currently used data. Okay? The reason they're different is this. Cache memory, which, see those little chips down there? Um, ooh, I'll put them in there. Little chips down there and things like that. You have a very small amount of memory on physically on the processor. And what that means is if you need instructions all the time, so say the instruction to keep redrawing the screen, you might put that in the cache because it's very, very close. Very, very close. I'll move these down a little bit out of the way, we can still see them. Okay, but this is very, very close and therefore very, very fast. Okay, so close and fast goes that way. These, this is very, very close. This thing here is not quite as close, it's a bit further away, it has to go and fetch the instructions each time it needs them, fetch the data each time it needs it, and this thing here is even further away and even slower. Okay. 
So just in terms of distance, very, very quick, pretty quick, quite slow. Okay. So I've got my, my most commonly used instructions on here. I'm going to run out of space pretty quickly because this is a pretty small device. So there isn't a lot of storage space. So once I've run out of room here, I put it in my main memory. And this is where the most of the programs and most of the data lives. Okay, it used to be we never used to have caches on these a long time ago. So this is this is why this is main memory because this is where the bulk of everything is. You know, you've got four gigabytes of storage here, so four gigabytes of memory. Even I'm doing it, four gigabytes of memory here, which is quite a lot. And you can get a lot of instructions on there, and you can see what's going on. If you're on a Windows PC, you can press Control Alt Delete. Um, if you're on a Mac, you can go into Activity Monitor. If you're on a Linux, you probably know already. But I don't know off the top of my head uh, what program to use, but you can look at how much RAM is being used, how much memory is being used by different pieces of software, by your operating system, by your word processor, by your music program, whatever. Okay, so lots on here. And then your virtual memory, this one does work a bit differently, okay? Because this isn't really memory. What do we say this was? So it's storage. Okay, this is storage. This is for permanent things. It's not for memory. So this is, we, we call this bit virtual memory. And what we do is we take a section of the hard drive. So you've got your hard drive. And we take just a section of it, and we say this is going to be my virtual memory. Because our hard drive, you know, this might be 500 gigabytes of hard drive. This might be a terabyte of hard drive. This is a lot bigger than either of these. And so what we can do is we can, we can take just a fairly small section of it, a couple of gigabytes maybe, and say this is, I'm going to use this like memory. Okay, I'm going to store my currently used instructions, my currently used programs, my currently used data on here if I run out of room here. And what I can do is when I need something very often, I can put it on here. If I need it quite often, I can put it on here. And if I only need it sometimes, but I will need it, I can put it on here. And a hard disk, the way you use a hard disk, I'm assuming you already know this really, but the way you use a hard disk is to physically go and read a spinning metal disk inside this casing. There's a metal disk just in here, it should be that end. Uh, anyway, there's a spinning metal disk just in here, it's this end with a head that reads it and it's a physically moving part so it's a lot slower than this where there are no physical moving parts and it's almost almost instantaneous okay so you've got physical overhead in terms of the times to get your virtual memory okay so if we go back to this kind of this table here what we've got is your cache memory is on your processor it's very very close by it's very very fast but it's also very small okay We've got your main memory, which is fairly close. It's not quite as close as the cache memory. It's not physically on the processor. And it's, it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so it's kind of medium. Medium close, medium fast, and, and medium small, medium large. Yeah, medium in size. Um, and this is pretty good for most things. And then your virtual memory on your hard drive is, is very slow because it physically has to spin the disk up and find the right bit of data on the disk. It's also much further away, but it's absolutely huge. So this is slow and far away, but it's also huge. Okay? So as you go back through these three different forms of memory, as you go this way, they get slower and they get further away, but they also get bigger. As you go this way, they get faster and they get closer, but they also get smaller. Okay? So most commonly used instructions, commonly used instructions, and all of these things store currently used data, currently used programs. Okay? And this, we're not talking about actually storing it on a hard drive like we would save a file. We're talking about using it as though it was memory, reading and writing really, really quickly, as quickly as we can, but it's only temporary. It's not actually permanently stored, even though it's actually on the hard drive, because it's being used as though it's virtually memory. It's not real memory, it's virtual memory. Okay? That pretty much covers that topic. That's, that's nearly 10 minutes now. That's enough for one video. If you come back, I'll do a bit more about ROM and RAM um, and stuff like that.